What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to show you multiple ways how to free up your disk space on your Mac computer. First what we need to do, we need to find and remove duplicate files. So we need to go to the internet browser, we need to go to this website and I will put links in the description below for all of the programs I'll be using in this video tutorial. And we need to download this program, just click on free download and then click on allow. Once the download is complete, just click on this little arrow and click on, on the software we just downloaded. Now we need to drag and drop into our application folder. We can close this window and then from here we can just double click on it and then click on open here, click on accept and then scan for duplicates. And then we'll have to allow over here as well and then OK. So on my computer, I don't have any duplicate files, but in your case, you could have duplicate movies, pictures, photos, or anything like that. And then it will give you an option to delete them. Once you're done, you can close this program and then close applications. The next thing, what we need to do, we need to empty our trash bin. So right here, open your trash and in here, just click on empty and then empty trash. Then we need to uninstall any applications that you don't use on your computer. So what we need to do, we need to click on go and then we need to click on applications. And then in here, we need to scroll through and we need to find any applications we don't use. And then we need to delete them or move them into a trash bin. Like for example, I don't use Xcode. I'm just going to move it to trash. Most of the time it's going to prompt for your credentials just to confirm. Type your password and then press OK. Once the application is deleted, we need to do the same thing. We need to open trash and empty trash one more time. Then we need to clean up our iTunes backups of our iPhone or iPad. So to do that, we need to click on go and then go to folders and then folders in here. We need to type exactly like I have on my screen and then click on go. Then in here, we need to double click on application support, then scroll down and double click on mobile sync and then click on backup. Right here, I only have one backup, but in case if you have a lot of backup, you have to make sure you delete backup that you don't need anymore. So you can just right click on it and then click on get info. And then it's gonna tell you how big your backup is. This one I just did for this tutorial. So it's very small, it's from my new iPad, but you might have quite a few backups. So find the one that you don't need and you can delete them. Either right click and move to the trash or just drag into the trash. Then we need to clear out our temporary files. Same thing, we need to go to folder and then type library and then click on go. And in here, we need to click on cache and all this, this is just temporary files. All of them can be deleted. Just highlight all of them and then move them into your trash. And don't forget to empty your trash. The next thing what we need to do, we need to find out what's taking up all the space on our computer. So we need to go back to your internet browser and then we need to go to disk inventory. This is free tool. So we just need to download this one. Once the download is complete, Go to your downloads and double click on disk inventory. Then once you're going to get this window, just double click on disk inventory. And if you get this message, what you can do, you can click on OK. And then we need to go to system preferences. And then in here, we need to click on security and privacy. And then we need to click on this little padlock, type your password and then press on unlock. And then in here, we just need to click on open anyways, and then click on open. And now we can close this window. Once the program's gonna start, you can click on close here, and then you choose your hard drive, and then click on open volume, and then press okay. Once the scan is complete, you can go through the entire list on the left-hand side, 
and you can see which folder has a lot of data and then you can just click on it and then see what kind of folder is that on the side you will see what's exactly taking what applications document data disk image bundle mp4 movies jpeg images and etc and if you see something that you don't need you can just delete here then we need to go back to our internet browser and then we need to go to this website and we need to download monolingual this is basically going to look and find if you have any additional languages installed on your computer so we need to download this version click on allow once the download is complete just go to your downloads double click on monolingual once this is complete right here just click on monolingual click on open here and right here you can actually remove all the languages that you don't use on your computer that way it will free up some more space and the last thing what we need to do we need to click on go and then we need to go to downloads and we have to go through the downloads folder and see what's in our download folder see maybe we don't need some of the downloads that we downloaded previously that's actually taking a lot of space so find whatever you don't need just drag and drop into your trash can and then same thing don't forget to empty your trash and if you follow all the steps in my video then you should be able to free up some disk space on your mac hard drive if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching